The latest edition of America's Top Ten is on Central tomorrow late at five past three. Right now, though, it's Hull and Pete Waterman. Welcome to another balmy edition of the Hitman and Her from the freezing... Pete, Pete, where's Michaela? Well, mate, we've come to Hull. Yeah. She's nipped off to Spain. Spain? Huh. What for? Well, they said we could go anywhere for our holidays. I've come here, she's gone there. You want to come dancing? Might as well. Come on, then. Thanks. I'm in, she's away, but this is Lexicon Avenue in Hole! Right, let's have some dancing! But it's something that I, I must believe in. And it's there when I look in your eyes. Love is in the air. Sing 
again. Film Strictly Ballroom on the Twitter number one, John Paul Young, and of course, Love is in the Air. Two Unlimited and a Mega Mix. We're going to see what Lily had to say earlier. Now give me a beat. the first question I've got to ask you is about your name. It's really Warren Hodgkiss, Woo! isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's and right. You're why are you embarrassed about it? It's a great name. I don't know. It's just, uh, well, I don't mind. <laughs> and so why Oggy? Oggy comes, uh, it comes, in, it comes from the second, my second name, Hodgkiss, like, he just seems to rotate in with that. They like, call you know. Kiss. <laughs> Um, well, I get, I get the mic taking me out of that kiss, 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 you know. <laughs> and don't, isn't the rest of them the male folk in your family, aren't they all called Oggy as well? Yeah, they're all called Oggy. Even my dad was called Oggy when he was... Uh, and going. your sisters? Sisters, yeah, it's just a couple of my sisters are. They get called it as well, like, you know, but not as much as what we do, you know. But I like the name, I like the name, it's a good name. It's catchy. It's good, it is good, it's easy to say and it's... Now, good, apart good from uh, your hobby, which is fishing, which yeah. we've heard about before on other programmes, Yeah. Um, sign writing, that's what you do for a living, isn't it? Yep, that's what I do for a living. What, what do you do in sign writing? Do you paint, paint buzzes, things? paint cars, do uh, all, um, perspex, all, everything everything in the sign writing trade. So it's you're a bit of an artiste on the side? Not bad, I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm John. <laughs> John, as your yeah, boss? Yeah, that's, that's my boss there. Uh, and you, there was a newspaper article about you as well, wasn't there? Yeah, there was Having a, a boring job during the day, but stripping off and dancing on the Hitman and Air at night. That's, uh, yeah, I don't find it boring. <laughs> it's all right, it's something that keeps me nice and relaxed through the day. Now, you want to say hello to a few people, don't you? Go oh, on yeah, yeah, say hello to um, my mum and dad. Love you very much. And uh, um, Rick, Jamie, Mark, Shane, and all the rest of me and Mike Lewis. Nice one. dancers on.
Apart from two and limited, this sounds like two and limited, it's not. It's Dr. Spin and Tetris. <laughs> known for their sarcasm. I'm just a bit surprised you haven't got a nickname. You haven't got anything at all. No, just Suzanne. Just Suzanne. Yeah. Nothing that they used to call you at school that you're just not telling us about. No, just Leonard is anything. Leonard? Yeah. Your surname? Yeah. Make you out to be a bit of a man. Now, you also do impressions of uh, Ghostbuster who comes on the, the Hitman <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. Will you do some of those for us later on tonight? Yeah, later on, all, yeah. Now, at the moment, you're at college. Yeah, I'm at um, a college in Preston doing dance. What do you do? What sort of dance? Just it's just um, all kinds, ballet, tap, modern, jazz and contemporary, just all kinds. Aren't you just completely knackered when you do the Hitman? You do Hitman rehearsals, then you go to college, then you do more stuff at night for the hit, for Hitman. No. Lots of stamina. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And lots of chips, Yeah, I lots believe. of chips and chocolate, yeah. yeah. So now you're a sporty type, you always have been. Yeah, I used to, um, used to be um, a club gymnast. What happened there? I got too involved in dancing, couldn't do both of them, so I took up dancing instead. Which is which which one do you find more pleasurable? Dancing, definitely. Yeah. Mm. But now there's something I've been told I shouldn't talk about, so I must. And that I've been told that somebody whisks you off in a red MG occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> Picked it up from the airsol sometimes. Yes. <laughs> That's it. No comment. No. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right, I think we'll ask some questions a bit later on about that. <laughs> Such a good feeling. Get ready for this. some live music. Please welcome the Mix Factory and take me away. Paul, give it up for Mix Factory! Thank you. 
Yes, indeed. Give it up for the Mix Factory. They can take me away anytime they want. Take me away. Take me away. Woo-hoo! We're going to celebrate. Woo-hoo! Here's a brand new single from Kylie Minogue.
Italy, we're having a celebration. This is Joanne. Now, Joanne, you know what you got to do? Look at this monitor and find yourself a handsome man. Right. Let's have a look at the first one. Oh, oh what about this one? It's OK. What, what do you think? Five. Five. Oh, all right. Well, it's not that bad. It's OK. It's OK, right. Let's have another one. Oh, what about this one? It's nice. How many marks out of ten? Oh, eight. Oh, he's a bit good looking, isn't he, really? He's OK. Oh, hey, oh. Ten. Ten? Ten? Find that man. Find that man. Let's have a look at another one, just in case you... For... Is that your boyfriend or what? No. What about this one? Six. Six. Well, there you go, you see. So, Joanne obviously likes me. Yeah? The... So we'll have a look what's going on. We'll find out what's going on and see if we can find a 10 out of 10. Blimey. Boss, drum. This is the shaman. For donuts in Clive and the Dancers and Lily's Looney Letters. See you after the break.
when Italians wrap praline and roast hazelnuts in fine milk chocolate. They call them baci. I call them yummy. Be a good girl and have one of the children brought down. And which child would that be, madam? Well, whichever one you think goes best for this outfit. Oh, I wasn't aware you had any green children. And have a bottle of Country Manor brought up for our return. Get off, get off. I assumed Modern would prefer the medium dry Country Manor. Oh, did you now? Well, it's in a green bottle, isn't it? To go with your green clothes and your green children. Don't push it. I assume the other one is for the Satsuma in the corner, is it? Country Manor, in a class of its own. Stay calm. Concentrate on the screen. Street Fighter 2 is on Super Nintendo. From the arcades, the ultimate combat game. Each fighter has a different technique, an acrobatic move, a hidden punch. It's on the streets now, exclusively on Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo with Street Fighter 2. It's unbeatable. When two women offered to wash my hair, I thought they're only after one thing. They were. My dandruff microbes. The irritating little blighters that cause the flakes. That's why they're washing half my head with this and half with head and shoulders. To demonstrate how it gets rid of the dandruff by neutralizing those troublesome microbes. On the ordinary medicated side, still dandruff. How irritating. But on the head and shoulders side, no dandruff. And the hair's rampant. Head and shoulders doesn't half shift dandruff. Let's try one of the new Uncle Ben's curry sauces tonight. Mmm, got the chicken. Just add the mild, creamy korma sauce. Cook in the oven, full of fragrant spices and delicious almonds. And serve with Uncle Ben's rice. Wonderful! Uncle Ben's. Perfect results every time. I demand more, even from an aftershave. Here's one that smells great and takes care of my skin. Old Spice Hydrogel. It's an aftershave and moisturizer in one, forming an amazing new gel. Light, easily absorbed. Refreshing. It smells great and leaves my skin feeling incredibly smooth. Does your aftershave do that? New Old Spice Hydrogel, the freshest idea for smoother skin. No. Sorted out your investments with Scottish Amicable yet? An amicable man. Charlie Good. When you radio, rent your the boss. They'll swap your old kit soon as boss. Nobody can lap us. We go like the clappers. So eat your heart out, Sterling Moss. <laughs> Stay contented. Get radio rented. You don't have to wait for the coffee to serve cappuccino. Vianetta cappuccino. One slice is never enough. Lethal weapons. Keep them off the streets. Take a stroll with us down the Abbotton. In fact, Lex is having a in a hall and bizarre ink, and I'm going to uh, get you.
to see Lillian having a chat to Jimmy. Jimmy, the lifeguard from Liverpool. What can I say? Great so. Great so. Jimmy Constable, are That's you related right. to the artist? I wish I was, no, I'm not. You're not. Now, being a lifeguard, doesn't that mean you get all the girls after you swimming past you, like, and they've got all their makeup on in the swimming bath? Um, Just to impress you. Yeah, a few. But... Now, I've also been told that when you when you leave the bar, there's teams of girls outside asking <laughs> for your autograph. Is that true? On occasions, yeah. And how do you handle this fame? Um, try and ignore them and just go about my business. You never take any of them up on their offers? No. Can I ask you a, a personal question? Just between me and you? Yeah, OK. Have you got a girlfriend? No. You haven't? I haven't, no. Now send those, keep sending those letters in. Now, you have broken a few hearts, and also I've been told that your favourite record is Achy Breaky Heart, and you do <laughs> a very good uh, version of that. Give it a... Give I'm, it no, a, I'm afraid that's, a, that's the management setting me up. That's, that's the management? Yeah. All right. Have you got any... You've got, you want to say hello to somebody, don't you? Yeah, um, to my mum in the Isle of Man. Um, keep smiling. And the dad and the rest of the family. Yes indeed, yes indeed, it's potting up here in uh, Hull. And of course, this, this is coming up. That's bizarre, ain't this is k class Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't, don't. What? Five years I've waited for this, five years. Everybody, clap your hands. Yeah! Clap your hands! My one big moment, yes! for y'all. Here's a little story that must be told about a younger generation going out of control. Come on and get into a zone to a life of crime. When he said this should be told to the front right back. Right. People living homeless on the street. Come on, a wet and cold. Whatever to eat. And the government, come on, what do they care? I'll talk to Sam's money and I get that shit. Come on, I want more message before we leave you. Yeah. About the drug scene and how it won't tease you. They say it's real me. They say it's real whack. To make your body with the drug all crack. When all that is true, it's blowing your head. To another dimension when you land up dead. To when you get a drug up and you know what to say. But don't be a fool and get the hell away. Say yo! Come on! Come on. 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 Come on.
amateurs. Personally, what's your name? So, what's your name? Janet. Liz. Sharon. Who are you got over there, Lil? Oh, we got the number one team here, Pete. We're going to no win. Chance. What's your name? Sarah. What's your name? Stay settled down. What's your name? Christa. What's your name, sweetheart? Krista. And what's yours? Lisa. And yours? Tracy. I think we're ready for the competition. Get set. Get them donuts going. Go on, get it on your nose. Off we go. Come on, get your donut in. We're struggling a bit here. You can play this at home, boys. You yeah. really can. Oh, it's on the floor. Go for another one. Go for another one. And you one. don't need a trunk. Hello, she's lost a trunk. Oh, I think they've got a technique it's, with the fingers here. It's like the old joke I had one, but the wheel Go fell on, off. Down in one. Come on, get it down here. We've got a second one going. Third What's she third doing? She always have this much trouble in all. Pete, eh? we've got a broken nose. Let's see if I can fix that. We've got a few problems here, Pete. We've got a broken nose and not enough people to eat the donuts. I'm good at fixing sticking things out. <laughs> us, lads, us lads from Coventry know oh, what you do when you're drunk. Pete, we've got a winner. What? Here. Oh, you ain't had as much fun as we've had here, though. Smashing slippers here. What, what are you doing with it, you? They're Just sticking them down the blouse, are you? Slippers, some magic well well slippers. Eat them. Eat them, dear. Yes. They're all oh, you can't get the there. stuff anymore, can you? We've right, back to Googles. dancing. There you go. Back to dancing. And some Super Mario's. Lovely jubbling.
question. Did I say TMO? No, I said rhythm is a dancer. Snap! Snap. letters that get sent to us. This week we didn't get any. No, that's not true. That's not true. This week we thought we'd pick out the loony letters. And who better loony than to pick out the loony letters than somebody that reads the loony letters? Well, thank you, Pete. I said loony lots of times then. Lily, Lily loony letter lo li reader. Come on, li li reading some loony letters, Lily. <laughs> Or some little loony letters. Some little loony letters. First of all, Pete, you would not believe some of the strange mail we get in. This is not reading this off this script. <laughs> I am not reading this off this script. OK, OK. They range from the strange and to the weird and to the plain dark. A certain Mr A from Hertfordshire started his correspondence to the hitman with a letter which read, I have never written to a television show before and I don't intend to start now. That was a really strange and interesting letter. It was strange. Do you think he needs oh, psychiatric help? Very interesting. Okay. What's your next letter, Lily? Do you want another interesting letter? I want another one, please. Okay, but Pete, it's not the letters that we just get sent. We also get sent some prezies. Oh. Ah. Ah. One bloke sends us packets of opal fruit. And I'm another guy... It's to make guy, your mouth water, really, isn't it? 
Another guy sends us in an envelope that just says T-H-A-H, the hitman and her. No letter, no stamp, no nothing. Really shows you the standard of people watch this show every week, doesn't it? About as low as the bloody presenters, actually. <laughs> right, now lastly, Pete, we've, well, no, not lastly, we've got a letter about our cameramen. Oh, right. The guy works for writes in every week and his name's Franken, well, he signs himself Frankenstein. And he writes to us and some of the points he says is, now the photographers hold it steady and watch those brilliant lamps flaring in your lenses. I noticed That's one of our cameramen, did you notice on the Maastricht debate? I think them cameramen were ours in that chamber. Order, order! Okay, Alive, I think, was in there somewhere. I think he tipped the balance, actually. Now, I want to go on to my final one. It's not a letter, but it's a thank you to Paul Preston. Paul, if you're out there, thank you for watching every single show and actually buying every single one of PWL Records since you started. So he's the one, is he? He's the <laughs> one! Give me his address! Someone I've had to, be. Someone had to. Next weeks, young man. I'll be round your eyes. This, of course, is undercover on PWL and, of course, never let us slip away. <laughs> Oh, we we'll... On the monitor, please. Oh, the, the address. Oh, the address. Please come back to me. <laughs> please come back. The Hitman and Her, PO Box 66, Manchester, Manchester M60, M60 NJ. Nine. Put a first class stamp on or you won't get it in quick enough. <laughs>
gentle on eyes, tough on tangles. Vida hey Sassoon Wash and Go Ultra Mild. There are many children who are chronically or terminally ill. Like any other children, they have their ambitions and wishes. And there's a charity which is entirely devoted to making those wishes come true. We are called, quite simply, Wishes. You can help our work just by phoning this number. 98% of the donations received by Wishes goes towards giving incurably ill children their heart's desires, the chance to fulfill their dreams. Some of them choose to meet famous people. Some of them choose to go on journeys as VIPs. Some of them choose to take part in exciting outdoor activities. Some of them choose to seize the opportunity to enjoy dramatic physical experiences that would otherwise be denied them. Experiences that are often denied even to healthy children. Some of them choose to go to Euro Disney or Disney World often with their families too. Everyone gives their time free. The children's smiles are the best reward. You can help make these children's wish come true just by sending a donation to Wishes. It's very simple. All you have to do is phone 0336 400 244. So please phone us. The smiles are worth it. Dear friend is what I am, this is too unlimited, and this is Paul.
Peter, magic friend. Now then, I want to ask you a question. What do you have for breakfast? Um, toast. Do you have uh, Kellogg's cornflakes? Yes, I do. She has old brand, actually. Dr. Old brand. <laughs> That was a terrible leak, that wasn't it, really? Let's be honest, only Teddy Wogan does them worse than that. you regular in the morning. Here's something else will make you regular. It's Felix. And it'll make you crazy. <laughs>
hey, hey, behave yourself, you lot at the back here. These DJs here, look at them, look. Ogling, ogling they are here. We've got a game coming up, they'll all see you. They're terrible, these DJs. Can't give them half an inch. Time for pump it up, right now then. You all know what you got to do, girls. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah and? Lisa. And what's your name, Lily? We've got over here, what's your name? Becky. Okay? Right, on your marks, get Becky. set, pump it up! Pump them up! And then off. Different oh. techniques. Different Technique techniques. Here, Pete. I think this is, this is a this winner This is an here. interesting technique here. She's not getting very far, but got to say... Oh, now, I've got a winner again, Pete. Look now, this one this. here, this one here, look. She's almost there. Sexy Sarah, she's up here. Couple more hey, come on, you've got to break it. No good just blowing it up. Oh, she's doing two at once You're here. almost there. Keep it hey, going. business as usual. Woo! Next one. Oh, two she's got. Hey, up one left. Oh, oh she's changed now. On your oh, knees. Oh, number two. Oh, she's doing it with her We've bloody knees now. We've got a bit of a stuff balloon here. This is an interesting combination here. One leg under the other one. Go on That's to the next one. That's a bit difficult, isn't it? That was a bit tough. We've got a duff balloon. What's she doing with her knees? She's not a washer woman, is she? <laughs> Come on, oh, kid, give it some. Come on, again. give it a bit of effort. Give it a little bit. Oh, more. yes, indeed. I've got oh. a winner here. Sexy we Sarah. So well. I knew she was going to win. There you go. I'll nip round your bedroom later on. You can try them on. There you go. <laughs> give it a round of applause. Good sport. Yes. Fabulous sport. Let's have Clive and his boys back on. Well done, Clive. Yes, indeed. Well, I want to see everybody's hands in the air now. Here's a brand new track, Super Nation. I just can't get enough. We've been playing it for a while on the show. Watch them go mad here in all. They just love it here. Love it. Watch this. Let's go and see what Lily having a chapter spike. I just can't get enough. It's 
Mike, I presume you got that name because of your hair. Yeah. Yeah, Clive. Clive? Man. Was that the, what, why, why did he call you Spike? Was that the first, he said, he said to me, he said that was the first thing when I saw him, I said Spike, and it stuck. Yeah. Do you appreciate it? No, I'm going to get him back. <laughs> Bit of a word of warning for you there, Spike. Um, now, I understand, apart from doing the Hitman, you go to college um, to study dance, but you also do kids' raves. Quite a few. Quite a few. What do you do there? Dance. Mm. Take part in any games? No, not really. Is there a difference between doing a Hitman and doing a kids' raves? Not really, no. None at all? No. Yeah, what else? Um, now, your mum, she's a bit famous as well, isn't she? Fairly. Tell me about your mum. She won the UK Guinness Dance Championships in 1983. So she must be fit? No, she's ugly. No! <laughs> <laughs> fit as in physically fit? Oh, yeah. Well, say sorry yeah. to your mum. Sorry, mum. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said his ambition was to go to sleep. Be Wayne sleep. Please, please. But I just can't seem to get enough is a wonderful thing, you know, because like, you can do all sorts of things, you can phone the moon, you can fly around the sun, you can even find Michaela Strachan when she's on holiday, because like Noel Edmonds, we've got a spy camera, and we sent our spy camera to Ivita. she thinks she's having it easy, but we know where she is, don't we children? 
Ah, watch this. Here it is, look. Here it is, in some dusky nightclub, look, in Ibiza. Why are you doing there she is. I'm on my holiday. This is private. I was doing really well here till you lot came along. I just bog off, go away, I'm on holiday. Go away! Hey, wait a minute. I'm in Ibiza and I'm having a lovely time. Stop! Hey. Who was that geezer with her then? He looked very suspiciously like... I better not spill the beans here. I better not spill the beans. So you see, you can't hide anywhere from the old hit man. Go back to Lexington Avenue, watch them dance. to that climb now, look. Job on his show. Right now, what's your name, darling? Joyce. And? Emma. And? Sally. We're going to be playing past the mic. This is Erasure. I forgot what it's called, but it doesn't matter. It's Erasure anyway. Who cares? Here we go. First one up. When you hear me go, five, four, three, two, one, you're past the mic. I forget that. Mic. We all know now. I've been doing it for five bloody years. <laughs> She looks a bit like she looks a bit like Andy Bell, don't she? You know what I mean? I saw him on going live this morning. See that his hair do fabulous. I thought it was Banana Rama, me when I was talking. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, she's got the swing.
on the Pete Waterman and McAllen Strachan show and her show fashion live music from Mix Factory and of course step back in time join us or join her later hey up the lady verse down the back now hey, give an inch Just like the Beatles, you look down the back. Just like the Beatles. I'm back. Hello, darling. What did you get? Chicken? Yo! Oh, Colin, we had chicken yesterday. You know how picky the kids are? And picky kids means leftovers. Picky? When you've a new range of sauces, especially for chicken, from Coleman's. Coleman's? Cocovin, Italian. Ooh. <laughs> Sweet and sour and Mexicano. Ooh, yum. Oh, no. Can't see the kids being picky now, hey, George? Mmm, can we have chicken again tomorrow, Mum? Thanks, Coleman's. The new sauces for chicken range by George, it's Coleman's. One plus one gets you together. Remember when this song was one of the biggest hits of the 70s? And what were you doing when you first heard this one? Just call this number now and Teledisc will take you back to the sounds of the 70s. Forever in Blue Jeans, 60 sensational hits. Remember those funky fun hits? Those sensuous sexy hits. And of course, those really romantic hits. They all live on with Forever in Blue Jeans. The Hollies, Gladys Knight, Dr. Hook, Cat Stevens, Hot Chocolate, and many more. Forever in Blue Jeans, 60 original hits, brought together on four LPs, four cassettes, or four compact discs. To order, simply call this number now. Forever in Blue Jeans, another timeless treasury from Teledisc, the name you can trust. It's all right. Some days. <laughs> you just on form. You take Sonic to level six. You crack every game. You make all the right moves. How'd he do that? Some days. You're just glad they invented this. All you're good for is watching telly. How'd they do that? <laughs> A treat and wash ball. New Fairy Ultra's got one. But does any other concentrated non bio liquid?
fashion. I've got my trendy shirt on tonight. Go on. Oh, it's a lovely shirt, Pete. Tonight's fashion comes from Zero Soterio, and the models are from Bubbles in Hull. First up, we have John. John's wearing white jeans, a Zero Soterio sweat top, and a leather and suede jacket. Now, the oh, girls come on, love girls. him. It's a bit of a... Oh, wait on. Bit of a chipping nail, this lad. Bit of a chipping nail. Shadow muscles. Shadow muscles. Come on. Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Picked up five wood vines, that lad, like that. Right, next up, we got Danny. He's wearing black jeans, a zero Soterio. Say that with a list. Hey, I like these leather jackets. Leather bit. waistcoat and a lovely leather jacket. Now, I like that waistcoat. Behave yourself. Very Behave. nice. I like these leather jackets. I might nick one of these. Waistcoat's all mine. Can I have that, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Next, we've got Mark. Like the chipping He's wearing a like waisted black I've got G-strings on it. All right, girls. Black and white dog tooth jacket. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. The teeth He's from. a bit what popular. Hey. I bet you don't come in on the fishing boats too often, do you? That was Marcus, this is Dave. Dave's wearing black trousers, a black Sierra Soterio sweat top, and red and black dog tooth jacket. Very popular, this dog tooth. Hey, there's a lot of good looking blokes here there in Holland. Are. There. Go on, show us a shirt. All got clean shoes as well. Okay, next up, this is Alex in an Italian cut petrol colour suit with white shirt and multi coloured tie. Is that cowboy boots. boots. Now I like to see a man with cowboy boots on. And they're really good ones and all. Look at that, eh? Whoa. No expense there, but that lad. And last up, a bit of formality to the evening. Mr. Suave, finally oh, hey, featured oh. in a double-breasted dinner suit. It's a prime minister. Multicoloured waistcoat and red sticky boot tie. Right, fellas, you can take all your clothes Show off. Let's see your jeans spring. Bubbles and the clothes with some zero soterio in Princess Key, Hull and throughout the county. Yes indeed, yes indeed. Here's Heaven 17 and Temptation. I notice the girls are out quickly, eh? Can't get their breath, can they? She talks to Clive if she can understand a word he says. You've got Timmy Mallet and his glasses. Now, Clive, why the wig? Why the wig? Why a wig? Everybody's going to have a gimmick, but why did you choose a wig? The wig was a joke. It was simply that somebody with Ter Terence Trent Derby hair said, asked me why I was kind of looking at this wig, and I put the wig on, and I was had a bad day. So I basically just said, basically, beep, 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 and I'm wearing it, and tough, walked out with it. Did you ever look in the mirror and take it off and just get very frightened? <laughs> 
What is that supposed to mean? That's the worst comment. That's like saying I'm ugly. I don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Yes. What did your mum think of it? Actually, I don't know. I, I did something where I walked down the street with a black wig and uh, she walked straight past me and didn't know it was me. I tried that game. That's true, actually. Yeah, but she never seen me with a white wig. Now, now how many wigs do you go through? And also, I want to know why you get so moody when you have to put a new one on. Come on, the truth. I do go through a lot of wigs because I'm kind of jumping around and kind of doing head slides or whatever there, but why do I get so moody? Yeah, when you have to get a new one. Oh, I like the old ones. I like it kind of, I like being a kind of a bit doggy kind of looking, you know, having it over. I don't really want to be exposed. I mean, it's nice living this double life and nobody really knowing you can sit there and you can, people talk to you about wiggy and everything like that and say, what do you do? As I, somebody's actually asked me, so it's... And what do you say? I said, well, I don't know. Don't know, mate. <laughs> like, what, you don't know what you do? Oh, I say that I do it. I'm a dance uh, dance student, but I'm, I don't know Clive. I don't know Wiggy. So I can kind of ask them. Like, I was on the phone and asking people, you know, about Wiggy and everything like that. And they say, oh, yeah, I know him personally and everything like that. Never met him. Never met him. And I've if been you... out with somebody's daughter and things like that. But hey, no, hey, none sorry. of that. Okay. Now, if you, uh, if you get any spare time, what do you do in it? Because we were asking you earlier and you were a bit cagey about it. My spare time? Yeah. Disappear. Um, I like Star Trek, I like reading, I like roller skating, things like that. Just basically, just getting around, things like that. I like visiting friends, and my mum, and Annie. Obvious actually that Clive watches this show back every week to see himself because he came up to me tonight and he said, You said last week I was horrible looking. Clive, you're not horrible looking. Did I say that? I promise to mention all the boys from RAF Lincolnshire that are here tonight. Here's live music from Mix Factory and take it away!
Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, the Mix Factory. In fact, it's Take Me Away, not Take It Away. I thought it was a bit of a fun anyway. Here's Sybil, the love I lost. Yes, indeed, it's time for a 10 out of 10 update. Here's a lady that knows what she wants out of life. What about this one? It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? How yeah. oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, shall I, shall I ask you what his name is? Yeah. Have you asked him? Yeah, it's John. It's John, is it? John, where are you from? I'm from uh, Brook. All oh, right. What do you think of this young lady then? I think she's real nice. Very nice, sir. Eh? Ah, oh, she's a cracker. Where do you live? South Cape. Is it far from where he lives? No. Could he walk you home tonight? Hope so. Whoa! Hey, up. You ain't got a car, have you? Well, nah. No. no. I can't afford one at the moment. Good, so you've got to walk her home. Oh, yeah. Very romantic, young man. There's a lovely moon out tonight. The stars are out. Look at this, eh? Hey. They've been at it already. Hey, hey, behave yourself. I love to see young love blossoming. Lovely. Well done. Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss, quick. Behave yourselves. Let's go back to dancing. Nice couple, nice couple. Somebody. Anyway, that's Sybil of the love I lost. Sorry about that, Clive. You've been asking for it all night, though. You really have. Here's the shaman. Boss drum. Boss Clive. He looked a bit like Desperate Dan, though, didn't he?
with a cultural revival This is survival Natural, magical, patterns of percussion Is the discussion so it's a little cool Sliding, connected to the powers that be With a healing rhythmic synergy Techno tribal, a positively primal Shamanic, anarchistic, archaic revival Yes indeed, of course, the show and bass Now because McKenna's not here, we thought we'd have a macho step back in time tonight and Clive's rocking all over the world. He's Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath! DC Clive does, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Same again. We just set rock and roll back 25 years. Listen to the status quo. There he goes. Rocking all over the. Yeah, one more time. Get down that dirty. I can't. I can't get me breath here. Can't get me breath. Yes, indeed, status quo. I don't know how you can follow that. The only way you can follow that is actually winding up the show. Here it is, of course, the last record for the team named Two Unlimited. Get ready for this.
jump. So it's good night from her, it's good night from him. Soon we'll see you for the first birthday party at the Aritzian Bromba. And it's good night from these beautiful people of home!